This is the first video of segment routing course and the first question that arises is what is segment routing? To better explain what segment routing is and how it works, it can be a good idea to compare how traffic is forwarded in IP network, MPLS network and segment routing capable network. In this topology, two CE routers connected to provider edge routers want to communicate through provider network. As you can see, the provider has many options to move the traffic from source to the destination, from above, from below, or partly from below and partly from above. Depending on the topology, the options can be more or less. When forwarding in IP network, the data traffic always goes over a certain path, which is the best path chosen by IGP. Here we assume it goes from above PE1, P1, P3, PE2 and then destination. One problem we face in IP network is that the traffic will not be directed to another path when that path is congested. However, that path is the best path. But this is congested. Another problem is that you cannot route your voice and data traffic through different paths. The requirement for data traffic and voice traffic are different. The data traffic requires high bandwidth and the voice traffic requires minimal delay. So may be required to direct voice traffic and data traffic through different paths to fulfill their quality of service requirement. When forwarding in MPLS network, when PE1 receive traffic from CE1, add a label above the data traffic that shows the entire path. This label shows the entire path. And all routers in the path must know this label and the corresponding path. The traffic is therefore forwarded via a certain predefined path. In fact, in MPLS network, by changing the label on the edge of network, we can control the entire path of the traffic. This is the advantage of MPLS, which makes it possible to isolate the data plane from control plane. For example, if we add the label L1 above the packet, all routers in the path will know the packet must be forwarded from above path. And if we add the label L2, then all routers in the path will know that the packet must be forwarded from below path. The advantage of MPLS network over IP network is that we can easily route voice and data traffic through different paths when required, depending on their quality of service requirements. The disadvantage of MPLS network is that all routers must maintain the state of all paths. The data traffic with the same IP destination but with different label must be forwarded through different paths. And our routers need to know these labels and these paths. How and how is the forwarding in segment routing network? With segment routing, just like with MPLS, we control the path of the traffic at the edge of network. The difference, however, is that the path is maintained in the packet itself and not in the routers in the path. The path is maintained in the packet itself, P1, P3, and PE2. This is the path which is maintained in the packet itself. For example, when a data packet arrives at PE1, it decides to send traffic through PE1, P1, P3, PE2 and then destination. So it adds the rotor ID of the rotors in the past which called segment. Segment routing comes from here. 
So it add the rotor idea of the rotors in the order above the packet and then forward the packet to the first hop specified in the packet. When first rotor receive the packet, it find the next rotor through the packet itself. And so the rotor does not need to maintain the information of many paths. As you have seen, segment is actually the rotor idea of the rotor. It is the segment, segment, segment. But the reality is that we have different type of segment. For example, a link can also be a segment. For example, when a voice packet arrives at PE1, it decides to send traffic through P2, P4, and then P4, P3 link, and then PE2, and then destination. So it add maybe in addition to the rotor ID of the rotors, the ID of some links, for example here, P4, P3 link which is another type of segment it add these type of segments above the packet and then forward the packet to the first hop specified in the packet when first rotor receive the packet it find the next rotor or some specific link through the packet itself and so the rotor does not need to maintain the information of many paths. With segment routing, like MPLS, we control the paths of different applications according to their quality of service requirement, but at a lower cost. Because the rotor in the network don't have to maintain the state of every path. In another words, to do traffic engineering in MPLS, in addition to IDP, we need LDP or RSVP for pass signaling. But with segment routing, we don't need LDP or RSVP. And IDP with some extension is enough for segment routing.